Okay, so um, this is a quick review for Nimbus Note because um, I think this is something that we've been using quite a fair bit in our business uh, and I you know, like the product, so I'm just going to share a little bit more information about it. Um, so, okay, I guess, first of all, like let's talk about Nimbus Note. What exactly is Nimbus Note? So I know some, some of you guys in the community have asked me this question. So um, the, the best way to kind of like take a, to look at it is that it's pretty much a document uh, creation platform. But then again, it's also so much more than that, right? Um, it's essentially, um, I would call it like a super document where you can create notes for yourself. Uh, you can insert uh, tables, you can insert multimedia like videos and images, file attachments, uh, you can uh, ping uh, different uh, different documents in your system itself. So essentially, with this kind of um, living document structure, right, you can actually uh, create things like wikis, uh, internal databases. You can use it to create uh, SOP documents, libraries for your entire team. So, and that's kind of like what we're using it for ourselves right now. We're using it as essentially an uh, uh, internal wiki for our company, uh, as well as using the note features, right, uh, to share some stuff like, like, you know, occasional reports or briefs with uh, external freelancers or, or reports for clients, for example. So that's kind of like why, uh, that's kind of like how we're using it right now for our own company. Um, so this kind of like maybe dive into a few of the, the key characteristics of what makes Nimbus a little bit interesting. I mean, I've tried many apps across the years. <laughs> I just kind of like lost count already. So uh, I've looked at uh, uh, Dropbox Paper, I've looked at uh, Quip, I've looked at uh, uh, even like Google Docs and everything. I think every, every document uh, uh, has its own uh, benefits, has, has its own features, and it also has its own drawbacks, right? I, I like Nimbus because it's got the right set of features for myself. It may or may not be suitable for you, but I think that uh, it works for us. So let's take a look at uh, some of the things that uh, Nimbus is good at. So essentially, this is kind of like the the structure of what uh, a Nimbus uh, workspace looks like. So if you're looking at this right now, right, so just move this slightly, okay. Uh, when you log into Nimbus, you'll be able to kind of like um, uh, toggle between your own personal workspace as well as um, team workspaces that you create for your, your team members. Right, so right now I'm actually in one of the uh, workspaces I've created for myself. Right, okay, I just call it product reviews, right? Um, yeah, so you can actually create folders and subfolder structures and everything. You can do color codings and everything. What I like about this is that, you know, this is actually more organized than a lot of um, different uh, uh, documents. Like previously, we used to work in quip.com, right? Well, I could kind of like, um, uh, I liked it, but at the, at the, at the, at the same time, I've sometimes found, I found their file structure and file storage uh, the way they, 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 they file documents, right, to be a little bit messy, a little bit too uh, too free-flowing for me. Um, so that's why I kind of like, like the way uh, Nimbus does um, document filing and moving around. It feels a little bit more like how you would experience file, file, uh, file folder structure on your computer or your Windows computer, whether you're a Windows computer or a Mac user, right? It feels closer to that experience. So that's why I like it. Um, this particular layout is kind of like reminiscent of uh, uh, Note Joyce structure also, but I, I felt that Note, Note Joyce also, um, I think it's a little bit of the, the user experience, but I felt that this user experience was a little bit more uh, less fluid than Note Joy, which for me was actually a plus point because I, I didn't really like uh, some of the way um, Note Joy did some of its uh, uh, file storage and file uh, folder documentation. Lah. Right. Okay, I'm not sure what making sense. Anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, you know, I like the stuff uh, that uh, uh, Nimbus has. So, I think within Nimbus itself, you can actually do a lot of things. You can create notes. 
documents and wikis, right? You can create tasks and lists and everything. Like for example, if I'm in this, right, I can switch to the to-do list structure. I can pop out a to-do list and you can kind of like leave, uh, you can write to-dos for yourself, right? You can, uh, you know, do attachments, which I'm not going to do, right? Yeah, and you can share. So it's these little small, small details, right, which I like, right? For like, for example, right here, you have the option of a long share, uh, share link, and you can also shorten it, you know? It's this kind of little small details that I really like, and you can also protect it with a password, right? And then you can turn it off. So these are the small details that I like because like a lot of like document sharing um, applications, right? They, they don't have these options to set passwords, to uh, set it to public, shorten the links and everything. So it's always very, how would I put it? It's always, they always want you to work within your system or they want, they want your, the user who is actually receiving the link, right? To, to create their own accounts, which, you know, I'm sure is good for their, for creating virality in their, their app. But honestly, I don't really want my client to be creating a, a Nimbus account, right? If I'm sharing a link with them to a document, you know, I, there's no need to. So I like the fact that it's able to kind of like, um, just uh, share, share a link and then uh, be able to set things like passwords with it. So, you know, it's more, de it's more details like this that kind of like uh, make things, uh, you know, make it useful for me. Lah. So um, I also like the fact that you're able to do like full screen, you know, just simple details of that and the, the user experience is there. Within the document editor itself, right, I like small details like the ability to kind of like just add, a, you know, an outline, right? Especially if you're doing like an SOP or, or a long document, right? It's uh, this sort of small features like this are, is fantastic. You know what I mean? Especially I'm, because I'm like quite OCD, right? So, so having these kind of things in place is, you know, something that, uh, you know, really makes a lot of sense for me. Lah. So what else are the key features? Yeah, so database and spreadsheets and tables. I'm not so sure about the, the, the tables portion. I think the tables, are, you, you would still do well to use a, a, a full table application like your like Infinity or Airtable or, or even Stack B, right? Um, it's, it's good that they have a table function that you can insert inside the document itself, but I don't see, I really see tables as the, the, the biggest, uh, the biggest, uh, draw of, uh, this application. I, I think it's the fact that you're able to kind of like create documents, notes, wikis and, and stuff. Uh, that's really everything. Right? Um, you know, and the fact that you're able to clip and share your assets together and then, uh, capture and annotate stuff. Right. So we have basically the, the, there are two Chrome extensions. You have the, uh, yeah, so you have Nimbus Capture, right? So you can do visible part of page, capture fragment of page. You can uh, screenshot selected area. You can record, the, uh, you can record a blank screen. You can record video and you can choose where the, uh, the, the, the document is sent to after you have uh, finished uh, uh, capturing the thing. And you also can do things like, for example, uh, you know, uh, the clipper allows you to capture like a uh, full page fragment articles and everything. I've tried it before with uh, some articles and it's uh, pretty okay. It cap captures most of the things inside the, the inside a note. Um, so in that sense, I think it's like pretty useful. So um, I've not used Evernote before, but uh, I presume that's kind of like some of the, the, the functions that something like Evernote performs. Right. So all in all, right, I think that um, this is quite a good app for either individuals or teams, but especially if you're teams, right? I like the way that you're able to kind of like um, uh, share notes, uh, build wikis, uh, build a library of SOPs, uh, build a shared document uh, library, and also the collaborative uh, and more multimedia editing features inside, inside each, uh, each document. And I like the way they organize their, their notes and assets. Uh, folders, tags, to dos, you know, group spaces and stuff, as well as the the, the extensions. Um, yeah. So, what did I want to kind of like say? Mm. Yeah, I think all in all, it's just a pretty solid um, tool 
you know, I've tried many too and none of them have really kind of like felt uh, just right. And I don't think there is a, a perfect tool for for everyone. And I don't think there's a perfect tool for me also. But I think out of all the uh, different tools that I've tried so far, this has been the most um, uh, suitable in many ways, uh, you know. So, yeah, and it, it seems like the team behind uh, Nimbus is pretty ambitious. You know, uh, they understand how, what users want. You know, it's like small details, like the ability to set a password to a share document share link, right? That tells me, and and the ability to set like a, a shortened version of your share link, right? That tells me that this kind of um, things that they really are attentive to uh, user feedback. You know, because these are small things that I think a lot of uh, newer uh, developer teams kind of like you know. So all in all, I feel it's. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I've tried the, the mobile apps also. So the mobile apps work great. Uh, one, one feature I like a lot is the document search and image recognition, right? Um, so I like to surf the net a lot, right? On my, mobile, on my mobile phone, right? So sometimes I see things and I do screen captures. And maybe I come across a, a post from a, from a, on, a, on a Facebook group or something like that. And I like to take a picture of it. And I, sometimes I like to uh, use the OCR feature to extract the text from the uh, from the screenshot and then uh, cut and paste into uh, a note. So that's how I use the, the the tool. So yeah, so I'm like honestly speaking, you know, I'm, I'm I've used a lot of apps and I've been quite um, I grew accustomed to I've I've grown like you know jaded to a lot of different apps. Huh? But this is this has been quite quite refreshing and quite impressive so far. So yeah, so I just wanted to kind of like uh, you know give a quick review of uh, the app so that uh, those of you who are maybe looking at it can kind of like, you know, at least hear my perspective. Right? Okay. Thanks everyone.